Hi everybody, Terilyn here from Riverside Reptiles Education Center. Uh, I wanted to do a quick Wild Wednesday today from the center. Uh, and these are a couple of the animals that you'll get to see this weekend for our grand opening weekend. If you want to come, uh, we will be open 10 to 5 and going forward we'll be open every day. Finally, it's here. Brian has been telling you every day, almost, <laughs> that please be patient, that we'll be open soon. Um, what you'll need to do is go to our website and reserve a ticket. Because of COVID, we have to um, keep track of how many people come in. So one of the things that I got asked almost every hour on the hour was how our copperhead is living with our eastern rat snakes. So I figured I would do our Wild Wednesday about these snake species. Uh, these are two native species uh, to Connecticut and if there's any Massachusetts um, residents out there like me, um, they are also found there. Uh, Eastern rat snakes are considered endangered in Massachusetts, but they are not here in Connecticut. These snakes live peacefully and they coexist with each other in the wild. Uh, so right now, as you can see, they are coexisting peacefully here as well. Uh, in the winter and when it starts to get cold, these snakes actually den together. Um, it's called a hibernaculum. Uh, and they'll find a little rocky outcropping, they'll find a little cave or a, uh, or a den, and they'll also uh, cohabitate with timber rattlers during that time, as well as black racers. And another reason that they can live together in harmony, so to speak, is because they do not um, eat the same things. They eat completely different things. Um, so, you will see that I have my camera on the eastern rat snakes here. There are two coiled together. Um, these are an arboreal snake, um, but they are also found on the ground. You can see that there's a little bit of a pattern there. Um, juveniles will have uh, more of that pattern. They're sometimes confused with eastern milk snakes as well as um, northern water snakes. The copperhead is also sometimes confused with northern water snakes as well as eastern milk snakes. One way you can tell that this is a copperhead and not an eastern milk snake or a northern water snake is that copper color, that bright copper color, um, those hourglass markings uh, along their back. Uh, their head is bigger than their neck. Um, that is not true in all venomous species. For example, the green mamba, um, many people confuse it for a harmless snake. Um, but with this one, you can tell that his head is a little bit larger than his neck. He almost looks dry, people tell me. Whereas if you look at the eastern rat snake's head, it's almost the same exact size as his neck. And his scales, people tell me, almost look wet or shiny. Thank you so much for tuning in to Wild Wednesday here at Riverside Reptiles Education Center. Again, our grand opening is this weekend, folks. This weekend. You can come and visit us finally. Um, we will be here from 10 to 5. Adults are $16. Children, 3 to 11. Veterans and seniors are $14. Under 3 are free. And you will get to see all of our new enclosures. I'll give you another sneak peek right here. This is the black rat snake and copperhead enclosure. As you go around the center, you'll see that there are beautiful signs that Brian designed with arrows pointing at the species and the glass rather that they're in or behind. Brian took all of these beautiful pictures himself, and they are all of our animals. 
Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope to see you. If you come in, um, definitely ask for me. Um, I'll be here. I'm waving like you're watching me live. <laughs> but definitely come in, see us, check out our new exhibits, um, and bring your friends. Have a great day. Look forward to seeing you. Go to our website, www.riversidereptileseducationcenter.com, and you can go to visitor info to learn more and to reserve your tickets. See you then.